If you are a straight man who has a fragile ego, you are probably gonna wanna stop this video right now because what I'm about to say, it's probably going to bring you down a peg. Welcome to my crazy, messy, highly disorganized office that I definitely should have cleaned before starting this video, but it's too late, I've started now. So I'm just gonna roll with it. I would love to lie and say it's not normally like this, but this is like a very realistic depiction of my office. If you're new here, you're in the wrong place. Get out, go, don't want you. No, I'm just kidding. If you're new here, my name's Nadia. Welcome to my crazy chaotic channel that I don't even really know what it is right now, but one thing I know is that it always involves sex. Because I'm just like a bit of a sex nerd. And I specifically today want to talk to you all about the lesbian sex tips that anyone can apply because lesbians are very good at sex. If you sleep with someone who has a vagina, this video is for you. Straight men give women the least orgasms out of any group of people. This isn't my opinion, it's not anecdotal. It's a fact according to the biggest study ever undertaken into sexuality and pleasure, which included over 55,000 sexually active adults. And it found that while straight men orgasm 95% of the time during partnered sex, frankly, that seems too low. I feel like it's like 99, 100. Straight women only get to the big O 65% of the time. That is a very big gap. And that is where the term, the orgasm gap came from. If you've ever heard that term flung around, that's what it's referring to. Now we love to say this thing to women that it's harder to get a woman off, like they're just more complicated. But this actually isn't true because the same study found that lesbians were getting their female partners off way more than straight men were getting their female partners off. Every time I talk about this topic, at least a handful of men feel the need to publicly declare in the comment section, all the women I've slept with have had orgasms. I've got some news for you guys. Women fake it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. In fact, research suggests roughly 70 to 80% of women fake orgasm at some point. And it's mainly women who sleep with men because we have been taught to protect the male ego. I think that pretty much sums it up. Sex education and especially porn are all centered around male pleasure. We literally learn in sex ed, boys get boners and have wet dreams and ejaculate. We don't learn anything about pleasure for people with vulvas. We learn about pain, menstrual cramps, childbirth. We're even told that losing our virginity might hurt. And yes, I'm putting that in air quotes because virginity is a heteronormative construct. But the reality is people with vulvas can arguably experience even more pleasure during sex than people with penises because we have a clitoris which is estimated to have around 8,000 nerve endings in it. That is literally more nerve endings than in the head of the penis. So the only reason that women aren't having a lot of orgasms during sex with men is because men don't really get taught about the clitoris and about female sexual pleasure. Don't have sex in the missionary position. Don't have sex standing up. Just don't do it, promise? Okay, everybody take some rubbers. And the reason us lesbians are better at it is, well, because we have a bit of an unfair advantage. We're like kind of working with the same parts here. We know where the clit is because like we, we, you know, we literally have one of our own. So if you want to get better at sex, you need to become very familiar with where the clitoris is. And luckily for you all, I made an entire video on how to find it. And I will link that up here or here. One of these, that is where you want to be concentrating like 90% of your attention on. You have been lied to when you have been told that pounding someone's, you know, thing. I'm trying not to get demonetized, guys. It's Christmas time. In being told that that's what's going to get someone with a vulva off. And research actually shows that. Only a very small segment of people with vulvas can get to climax through penetration alone. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Like 99% of women do not want you to- Quick interruption to let you guys know today's video is brought to you by my friends at Moments Condoms. Whether you're going solo or you're with your bae, their toys are going to make sure you have lots of unforgettable moments. The lineup includes Vibin, Baddie, CEO, and Mood. The range is already selling out, so get in quick and head to momentscondoms.com.au to stock up on some self-love. 99% of women do not want you to do the tongue gymnastics down there. There you go. 
Yeah, there you go. That is because repetition is usually key to getting us off. So if you get on that spot, that good spot where we're giving you those moans and those like arches of the back and you can tell that we're having a good time and then you just change something up, bam, we've lost it. You've got to start all over again. So rather than trying to be super crafty and creative, your best bet is to do what I like to call the ice cream lick. And that is because it replicates the way that, well, at least I would lick an ice cream, which is with a flat, relaxed tongue. Like, oh God, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. What even is my job? <laughs> And the reason that this is one of the most effective tongue positions for getting your partner off is because it provides evenly dispersed pressure and stimulation. It's hitting the entire head of her clit. Of course, if your partner tells you specifically that they're into tongue gymnastics, then by all means, go to town, get acrobatic down there. But if your partner is one of the vast majority of us that prefer repetition, then the ice cream leak is going to be your friend. Most women and people with vulvas aren't super relaxed having a partner, particularly a male partner, go down. And that is because many women, unfortunately, have at some point had a male partner shame them for their smell or taste or hair or the way it looks. And so as a result, they may be quite insecure about having someone down there. There has been a ton of research done to show that it is nearly impossible to get someone with a vulva to the big O if they are not completely relaxed. And if we are feeling worried about how we look, smell or taste down there, we're not relaxed. So you want to make your partner feel amazing about their hoo-ha. You want to actually comment on how incredible it smells, tastes, and feels. This is something that lesbians are very good at. I don't think I've been with a single woman who hasn't at some point commented on how delicious I am. Maybe it's just because I'm like personally delicious. In all seriousness, this is because women understand how important it is to feel completely safe and relaxed and to feel body confident when we have someone down there so up close and personal. You really need to get in a relaxed position yourself because you are probably gonna be down there for a while. Set up camp down there. If your partner feels rushed or worried that she's taking too long it is such an insecurity for women because we haven't been taught to prioritize our comfort and our pleasure we're too worried that maybe you're getting uncomfortable down there i know i used to constantly worry that i was too much hard work or i was taking too long let me tell you i do not worry about that anymore girl get comfy down there i'm getting comfy up here <laughs> The best thing you can do is give them as long as they need. So it is really important that you aren't doing it in a way where your neck is going to get sore or even where your tongue is going to get sore. Seriously, consider doing some tongue stretches like to really just strengthen up your frenulum, which is the little... That thing. The thing that joins your tongue to like the bottom of your mouth. It can get tired after a lot of oral. Honestly, one of the best and most comfortable positions you can get into is to have your partner lay on their back with their legs apart and then you can put a pillow under your chest to prop yourself up and lay on your stomach, head down, in the zone. Don't put your whole face in it, at least not for the whole time because you won't be able to breathe. You wanna always leave like a nostril and maybe like half of your mouth free for like letting that air flow in, you know what I mean? Honestly, it takes me back to when I first started sleeping with women. I was not aware of this fact. I used to frequently panic that I was going to suffocate. Fingers are one of the most underrated tools there are. I speak to so many straight women who say they wish their partners would use their fingers more. The great news about using fingers is you can actually give the other part of you a rest. Sometimes you might be tired or stressed or you've had too much to drink. If you know you can do some of the job with your fingers, then he can have a rest. He can have some R&R. &R. The best way to involve your fingers is to get these two fingers and you want to do a hook 
motion and it's almost like a pushing down and rolling back just look at that motion it is quite a lot of hooking but that's because you can actually feel there's kind of like a bit of a like roof in there that you can sort of press on when you're like an inch or two inside and that is her g-spot you can actually feel it's like a lot sort of softer and spongier and juicier than the rest oh it feels really good to touch and to have touched now i'm great now i'm getting turned on Start by just pushing down gently and then try increasing the pressure as you do ask for feedback. Don't do things in bed without asking for feedback. I cannot stress that enough. A lot of women just aren't confident enough to speak up. They won't tell you when they're uncomfortable. They'll just pretend to be enjoying it. But if you actually ask them, how is this pressure? Do you want softer or harder? They will tell you. So like really give it to them on a server platter, ask it as a specific question like that, and you will get honest feedback. And if you want to go to sensei level, then you want to get that ice cream lick going at the same time as you've got the hook pressing motion going. The position I mentioned earlier of the pillow under the chest laying down on your stomach is the best position for that because you can have your arm kind of propped up under you and be inside like that and then have the tongue here. Honestly, what actually is my job? If you get that right, she can have a combined explosion. I wanted to come on here to say thank you to each and every one of you for supporting my channel this year. I cannot tell you how much it means. In particular, a huge, huge thank you to my Patreon members. I don't get a lot of paid sponsorships as a creator who talks about sex. So my paid Patreon members really help me to keep doing this and like keep this channel afloat. If you're just now finding out about my Patreon community and you would like to join, then you can hit the link below this video and you can join from as little as a couple of dollars a month it makes such a big difference and when you join you will unlock access to tons and tons of exclusive content content that i do not share anywhere else on the internet in particular lots of queer sex education videos on coming out exploring your sexuality lesbian sex and lesbian sex tips and yes these tips are also useful for men who sleep with women and people with vaginas. I personally think it's like a bargain for a couple of dollars a month. Hit that link into the in the pinned comment. It's the end of a long day. I'm running out of speed, but you get my point. I'll see you all in the next video. Love you.